Under Armour, known for its athletic wear worldwide, thrown into a political firestorm after CEO Kevin Plank praised President Trump's pro-business viewpoint. I think he's highly passionate. Um, he definitely, it's, you know, to have such a pro-business um, president is something that's a real asset for this country. I think people should really grab that opportunity. Wednesday, Plank published this full-page letter in the Baltimore Sun, starting off, in a business television interview last week, I answered a question with a choice of words that did not accurately reflect my intent. The letter goes on to highlight the values of Under Armour, including standing for equal rights, immigration, job creation, and publicly opposing President Trump's travel ban. It concludes in part with, we will continue to stand for equality, diversity, and opportunity for all. I hope that we will always make Baltimore proud. 11 News looked for feedback via Facebook, which showed overwhelming support for Plank, and there were plenty of comments to go around from, he was right and will not stop buying his products, to, too little, too late. I wish him well. I'm glad that he made the statement, and I believe in Kevin Plank and his work. He's been a supporter of Baltimore for quite some time, but I do think that putting that out there was important. Mayor Catherine Pugh appreciated the move by Plank. Bill Cole, CEO of the Baltimore Development Corporation, also said that this shouldn't cast a cloud over the Port Covington deal. Nobody's written any checks at this point. They have to demonstrate their ability to perform before we issue any bonds. And we have to do that repeatedly through the life of the project. Uh, not even remotely concerned about that. If you'd like to take a closer look at the letter to decide for yourself, we've got a copy of it on our website, WBALTV.com, and our mobile app. We're live in Locust Point tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL-TV 11 News. Lowell, thank you.